May we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position. As we are using our easy seat to help relax, ground, center, and soothe our mind and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken down. Having control of our bodies with our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears as we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. Taking a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum if that feels good for us. We are gazed down, eyes are closed. As we relax in silent meditation for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Allowing our palms to connect to the earth, our hands are touching our yoga mat. Palms are flat down as we are using our palms to connect with our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us, right here, right now, without judgment, simply being aware. Wow. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Three more breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into our salute, Fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, bringing our palms together with that pointer finger pointing up towards the ceiling. Our heart chakra is open, our chin is up. Allowing our arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room. We are in a slight back bend here. We're gonna hold this pose, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating our palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. Our palms are separated. Mm -hmm. Our seated extended mountain is our channeling pose. May we hang out here in this pose, welcoming in and channeling in whatever is needed within our lives. Welcoming in positivity, hope, and inspiration. With our heart chakra open, our chin up. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Coming into that seated star, bringing our palms slightly out towards the side. We are in that seated star, lifting those shoulders up feeling nice and strong here in our upper bodies. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. Using this seated twist to relax and soothe the spine. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that star, twisting the body towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder, spinal twist, opposite side, soothing and relaxing that spine. Three more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Exhale and back to center, coming into that star. Breathing our palms to our salute. Palms are together. Exhaling down to prayer. Relaxing the palms at heart center. Bringing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Gazing down at the earth. As we use this time to thank ourselves for practicing self-care here today. Two breaths. Flowing back to our salute, palms flows above our head. Exhaling our palms towards our side. Yes, our palms can be downward, our palms can be up. So we have our palms to the side like a T. Heart chakras open, chin is up as we rotate our arms forward. We are working on the upper parts of our bodies here, building strength, toning and firming. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna rotate our arms in the opposite direction. Four more breaths. Still in a burn here, two breaths. Finding our pause, coming up to our salute, interlacing our fingers. Pointer finger points up towards the heavens. Arms flow slightly towards the back, chin is up. This is a back bend. This is also a counter pose to what we just did. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes the upper parts of the bodies, the shoulders, the back legs. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, separating those palms, seated extended mountain. As we lean our bodies towards the right, coming into that seated side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Feeling that stretch here in our side body. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. As we side bend, opposite side. Gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, breathing our palms together and our salute. Exhaling down to prayer, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Two breaths. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale. Flowing into our bound position, we're gonna come into a diamond or a butterfly. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our body, using this pose to open up our hip flexors. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our body. Both poses look the same, but they feel a little different in our inner thighs. So doing a pose that feels best for you, as we work on loosening and relaxing and stretching the inner parts of our thighs, our hip flexors here. As we are gaze forward, we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips, bringing our torso downward towards the earth. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel it a little more in your hip flexors. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Head relaxes downward towards your feet. Tummies are tight, are tucked inward. As we relax and soothe here for four breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that diamond or that butterfly. Heart chakras open, chin is up as our head relaxes between our shoulder blades, coming into a bound cow pose. Two more breaths. 
Exhale into our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Cat pose, three breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our bound position, using our hands to bring our legs and we're straightening out our feet in our staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side, tummies tight, spinal cords nice and long as we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. We are gaze forward, taking nice subtle breaths. And if this feels well, may we hinge deeper at the hips, coming into a seated forward fold allowing our torso to come closer towards our thighs. Head relaxes downward towards our knees. Reaching our hands downward towards our ankles or our lower feet. And we're gonna relax here in our half forward or complete forward fold for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold if we weren't there as we come back up to our staff pose. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Feeling that body, that spine, feel nice and elongated here. As we flow our palms up towards our salute, chin is up. Exhale to prayer, palms at heart center. Crossing our feet at our ankles as we come into a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna drop down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we breathe our right arm up towards the heavens, gazing up at our right fingertips, feeling that stretch. We're going to thread the needle, threading that right arm through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Shoulder blades melt forward. Hmm. Here in our thread the needle, we are relaxing and soothing. If we choose, we can wrap this left arm around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever feels best for you. Five breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly unwrapping that arm. If it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, coming back to our table, dropping down to our cow, flowing to cat, coming back to our table as we reach our left arm up in the air, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, gazing up at our fingertips, breathe in, Exhale, thread the needle opposite side, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Shoulder blades melt forward. Feeling that body relax and soothe here. We can option to take this right arm and wrap it around our backs if that feels good. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever you choose, thread the needle. Five breaths. Two more breaths.
As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're gonna unthread that needle, coming back to our table, knees are hip distance as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table. As we come up on our knees, we're gonna come into a kneel position. We're gonna work on a slight back in here. We're gonna work on our camel. We're gonna start out in a camel prep, using our hands, placing our hands on the lower parts of our backs, allowing our shoulder blades to melt towards the back, head flows towards the back. Still in this slight back bend here, we are in our camel prep. We're gonna hold this pose for breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back up to center. Checking in to see how we feel within our body. And if all feels well, we're gonna come back up to that camel prep. And we're gonna start on our right side here. Placing our right hand on the right heel of our foot and feeling this half camel. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. We can extend that left arm up in the air or flow it over our head if that feels good. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out of that half camel, placing our hands on the lower parts of our backs. We're gonna flow back into our camel prep. Slightly leaning towards the back, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. We're gonna try camel prep on the opposite side, seeing how it feels on our left. We're gonna connect our left hand to our left heel, feeling our bodies flow towards the back. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. We are in our half camel opposite side. Two more breaths. Breathing our right arm up in the air if that feels good or flowing it over our head. Exhaling out of that half camel, we're gonna come on down to a puppy pose. Relaxing our bodies for a little bit. We're gonna bring our torso downward towards the earth. Our buttocks is high in the air. As our third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. Arms extended in front of us. We are in our extended puppy pose. We're gonna relax and soothe here for five breaths. Three more breaths. Spinal wave in our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms using our palms to push our torso forward, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heel. Feeling that spinal wave, that waveature inside of the spinal cord. Working the hips, the lower parts of the body, the upper part of the spine. Our tummies are tight, three breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna come back into our camel prep. And this time we're gonna work on our full camel if we're able. If we're not, we can do half camels. We're going to connect our left hand to our left heel and our right hand to our right heel.
Allowing that torso to flow towards the back, allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades. We are in that full camel for five breaths. Three more breaths. Exhaling out of that camel, this time we're gonna flow into our child's pose. Creating a nice, let's come into a wide-legged child's pose. Allowing our torso to relax between our thighs, our buttocks comes towards our heels. We're gonna come into a prayer hands child's pose. Extending our arms in front of us, making that prayer hands and flowing them over our head. Our third eye chakra is connected to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in, exhale. Feeling your shoulder blades melt forward into the yoga mat. Third eye chakra is connected to the earth. Mind is relaxed. Body is relaxed. As our heart chakra regulates. And we hang out here for six natural breaths. Three more breaths. Extending our palms in front of us, we're gonna to come to a spinal wave. We're gonna do a couple of spinal waves. Waving our bodies out of our child's pose. As we find our paws at tabletop position, pushing our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Tummies are nice and tight here as we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Shifting our weight forward, coming into a high plank. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling down to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhale down to our tummies, coming into a sphinx pose. We are on our tummies. We are on our forearms. Ensuring that our shoulders are not shrugged. Unshrugging our shoulders, having control of our bodies here, gaze forward. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. This Spanx pose is a relaxing and soothing pose. May we hang out here for five breaths. Three breaths. Flowing out, coming to a baby cobra, placing our palms next to our torso, slightly pushing our torsos away from the earth, baby cobra. Elbows are slightly bent. Chin is up. Flowing into a cobra, straightening those elbows. This here is a deeper back bend. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Chin is up. Exhale into our up dog, taking our thighs off the earth. Chin is up. Three breaths. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. As we walk our feet towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold. Feeling the body relax and soothe here. This is a full body stretch. Head melts downward towards the earth. Mm. 
three more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Yogi walking our feet slightly apart, creating a nice stance here. As we flow back down to a complete forward fold. Coming into a rag dial, connecting our hands to our elbows, allowing that body to soothe and relax. Head melts down, five breaths. And if you choose, you can rock your body, swaying your body from side to side here in that rag dial, feeling the stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, flow into a half forward fold. Coming up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. As we walk our dog by pedaling our legs left and right. Simply just checking in with our inner thighs. Finding our pause. Breathing our palms above, above our head and our salute, palms together. Exhale to prayer, relaxing the palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulders down. As we slightly bend our knees, coming into a chair pose, we are working on the lower parts of our bodies, building strength here in our legs. We can be in our chair prayer hands. We can extend our arms in front of us, coming into an extended chair. Four breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center, chair pose twist, right side. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold. Relaxing that torso over those thighs, head melts down. This is a full body stretch. It is also a counter stretch to help us relax and soothe the muscles we just worked. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Breathe back down, complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, we are in our down dog, feet goes towards the back. Head on our feet by walking our dog, left and right. Finding our pause, shifting our weight forward, coming to that high plank. Exhale down to low plank or chaturanga. Flowing on to our tummies, coming into a sphinx pose. Relaxing those shoulders away from the ears here, meaning we are not sunken. Keeping in mind, we always want to have control of our bodies. Chin is up. Flowing down to our Superman or our Supergirl. So extending our arms in front of us. Palms are off the earth, feet are off the earth. Maybe we can fly if we feel like it. Or we can stay still. This works our lower backs, our arms, our legs, as well as our gluteus maximus. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, we're gonna flow our hands to the back of the room, coming into a locust pose. Palms faces up towards the heavens. This is a slightly deeper back bend. Chin is up. 
Two more breaths. Holding this locust pose, we're gonna relax, coming into a sleeping locust. Allowing the arms, the feet to relax. Third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. Shoulder blades melts forward. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. We're gonna relax and soothe in this sleeping locust for four more breaths. Slowly awakening from that sleeping locust. We are back in that locust pose. Feet us off the earth. Arms, palms are off the earth. Heart chakra is open. As we flow into a bow pose, bringing our right hand to our right ankle, left hand to left ankle. Using this to push our torsos further away from the earth. We are in that full bow. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. This is a deeper back bend. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly relaxing back down, coming into that sleeping locust. Three breaths. Mm. Swimming our hands forward, we're gonna come into a sleep pose, stacking our palms on top of each other. Relaxing our chin or our cheeks or our forehead onto our hands. Shoulder blades melts forward. We are here in our sleep pose, relaxing and soothing. Four breaths. Awakening from that sleep pose, coming back to our baby cobra, palms next to our torso, elbows slightly bent, torso comes away from the earth here, chin is up, baby cobra, two breaths, exhale into cobra, straightening those elbows, breathe up dog, taking those thighs off the earth, three breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold, relaxing over our thighs. Two more breaths. Exhale to half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Backs are straight. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. As we breathe up to our salute, palms above the head. Exhale the prayer, palms at heart center. Relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. As we hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold, gazing forward, palms are at heart center. Three breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, feet towards the back, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog if we choose. Flowing down to our dolphin pose, coming onto our forearms. Our buttocks is high in the air. Heads relaxed down, gazing at our feet. Five breaths.
dropping down to our knees, flowing into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, whatever feels good for you. We're going to hang out here in our puppy pose for eight breaths, allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. Fill in that third eye chakra with your forehead on the earth. Eyes are closed or gaze down. As we relax, soothe, and go inward. Seven more breaths. Two more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this pose. Finding our pose at table, coming into a tabletop. Knees are hip distance apart, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose just for a second. We're gonna flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position. Bringing our knees into our chest. Let's hug our knees into our chest. moment to just show ourselves a little self-love, self-care, and gratitude. Three breaths. As our knees flow towards the left, coming into a reclined spinal twist. Knees flow towards the left, feeling that spine relax and soothe. As our right arm comes out to the side like a T. And we can slightly gaze over that right arm. Or we can gaze up at the heavens if that feels good. And our spinal twist may we go inward for five breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Breathing the knees into the chest, hugging them in. Breathe in. Exhale. Knees fall towards the opposite side, the plant spinal twist. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. Gazing over that left arm or gazing up at the heavens. Feeling our spine relax and soothe here. Five breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Breathing the legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Reaching down to the lower parts of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso, legs to torso stretch. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. As we come into our happy baby, breathing our knees into our chest. Feet are up in the air. Palms come between our thighs. Out to the side, connecting them to our feet. Happy baby. This here is a hip opener as well. In our happy baby, we can rock our body from side to side. If that feels good. 
we can bring our legs over our shoulders in the shoulder press, which can take us into a pretzel pose. So whatever you choose here in this happy baby, we're gonna freestyle six breaths. Four more breaths. Finding our pause, breathing our legs up in the air, legs on the wall, reaching down, bringing our legs towards our torso, buttocks comes off the earth, two breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall, breathing our knees into our chest. Keeping our knees up high, placing our feet flat on the earth, we are in that bridge pose, bridge pose breath. Feet are flat on the earth, knees are up in the air, palms, or at our buttocks flat on the earth. Palms or at our buttocks flat on the earth. Using our feet and our palms to lift our torso off the earth. We are in that bridge. Feeling this in our quads, our calves, our gluteus maximus, as well as our lower spine. And we can go deeper in our bridge if we choose by connecting, interlacing our fingers underneath our buttocks. Hips come higher. Walking our shoulder blades towards our spine. Our chest comes higher off the earth. We are now in our deep bridge, our high bridge. And we can pulse that gluteus maximus up and down if we choose, or we can stay still in our bridge. Whatever you choose, eight breaths. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Feeling it burning the gluteus maximus. Maybe we're pulsing that body up and down. Feeling that gluteus maximus lift and firm. Two more breaths. We're gonna do a bonus here. Four more breaths, pulsing the body up and down, working that gluteus maximus muscle. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, pulsing it up. Nice and tight gluteus maximus, feeling that squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three more breaths, nice and tight. Exhale down, uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders, hugging the knees into the chest. Lifting the legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Bringing those legs towards the torso. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. Bringing our knees to our chest. Feet are flat on the earth. As we flow into our Shavasana, legs are parallel side by side. We are in our rest pose. The sides of our feet are connecting. As we allow our feet to fall to the side like a V. Completely relaxing our thighs. As our shoulder blades, our backs melt into the yoga mat. Eyes are closed to gaze down. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we use this rest pose to go inward, soothing and relaxing. 
May we hang out here in silent meditation for seven natural breaths. Three more breaths. Keeping our eyes gazed down and closed if that feels good. We're going to roll on our sides, coming into a fetal pose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly wiggling our ankles, rotating our hips, moving our toes, our feet. As we use our top hand to push our bodies up, coming into a seated pose, I'm gonna come into a Cow face legs. May you find any seated pose that feels good for you. Ensuring that our spine is nice and long. Our tummies are tight. Shoulders relaxed down and away from our ears. This allows us to soothe and relax the upper parts of our bodies. A lot of time, a lot of times we hold tension in our shoulders and our neck. We sit tense. So simply reminding our bodies to relax those shoulders down could help relieve some of the tension and tightness in the shoulder blades, the back, the trapeze, the cervical spine, the neck. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Ensuring that our chin is relaxed our cheeks are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that seated prayer. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the lights in you all. Namaste.